Coming up on The Great Guinness Bake Off. Sean's trash talking's on point. You might want to get some bin bags to put your pie in, mate, later. <laughs> I pleasure a leak. Rinse it. No, no, Charlie. <laughs> you rinse. It's there. Look. For God's sake, this is where all the muck gets in. Not up that end. Sean shows off his pro chefing techniques. What I'm doing with mine is just what they call cooking it off a bit. Sean thinks we have a change of program. Now it's time for the rubbing. Sorry? You know what? <laughs> the what? And we make some costly rookie mistakes. Oh, forgot the pie funnel. Never mind. Here we go. <laughs> he literally just shoved the fucking thing in the middle of the pie. Well, let's just see how it goes, shall we? Here we are at Aldi's to get our ingredients for our steak bake-off. Yeah. Charlie reckons his is going to be better than mine. Well, let's wait and see. But to be fair, Charlie normally always gets the best pints, so maybe you'll get the best pie. You know, we'll see if Sean will be quite happy to eat it all day. I bet mine's the creamiest. Oh, succulents. I might put one of them in the top of it. What do you think? No? Yeah, yeah, do what you want. Where's the baskets? Oh, here they are, Charlie. Have a basket. Oh, a bit low on veg. Leeks. Where are the leeks? Leeks. 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 Second leeks. Don't tell me they got no leeks. No leeks. Rhubarb, but no leeks. Where'd you find them? Down the corner. They're not very good, these. Look, they're all that soft. This one's quite firm. I've got, I've got firm ones anyway. We need beef. Nice yeah, beef. I'm going for extra lean. 3% fat. I want 10% fat. That's enough beef for a pie, isn't it? Two of them. Worcester sauce. Worcester, Worcester sauce. sauce. <laughs> Sorry, am I on your way? Right. No, 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 just that big black thing in the e trolley. Look, that's nice, <laughs> isn't it? That's it. I'm all right. Do you want to drink of water? Oh, have you got fresh <laughs> water in there? No, have you got any Guinness in it? I'm making pastry myself and giving fresh pastry. So I'm thinking, what goes in pastry? Flour, butter, someone else. Short crust. Got it. Charlie won't have a clue. Hide this pocket. You alright, Charlie? What else goes in pastry? Alright, Guinness. We need Guinness. You found the Guinness? Go straight in my basket. No bottles of Guinness. What kind of Aldi is this? That's ridiculous. And the bottles are not even turned around. You can't even see what you're buying. That's because that's not got a label. Smarter puree. Smarter puree. Tomato puree. We haven't got any tomato puree. Tomato puree. Draft, four cans for 4.49. I am so disappointed we've got no bottles of Guinness. Beef, pastry, leeks. I've got no idea what he's looking for. Can't let's go and find it. Oh, look at that. What's that? 12.99. Less than a pound a can. Smarter puree, purchased. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a good citizen, Sean, because I know we're not gonna use a tube each, so I've just got this and I'll pay for it. Good man. Guinness, check. Check. Butter, check. check. Flour. Check. Salt and pepper. Home. Oil. Home. Onion. Home. Carrots. Home. Leek. You got Northern. any leeks? Yeah, just one. I'm, I, I could do with one, actually, <laughs> now you mention it. Worcester sauce, check. Yeah. Steak, check. Tomato yeah. puree, check. Beef stock. Beef stock, yeah, got that, loads of Water, have got any water? Oh, I never drink it. Eggs? Oh. Eggs, got eggs. Flour? Flour, yeah. Self-raising or plain? Doesn't say. Says flour. Right, come on then. Let's Sorted. go. Right, check out. You might want to get some bin bags to put your pie in, mate, later. <laughs> Sean, can I just ask, what? how many leeks are going in your pie? Lots. I like leeks. What? You've not got very much for your pie, Sean. You'll be surprised. Anyone who puts a bottle like that, when you get to the till, fucking rolls off the counter. Put it like that. And it rolls off the side. La, la, la. Secret ingredient. Don't tell Charlie. I've got my stuff. Yep, I've got mine. I feel like I've got a bit more than you. I don't need a lot, Charlie, to make the best pie in the world. So you're, you've got a leek, leek pie. I've got yeah. a Guinness leek pie. So okay. I'm one up on Sean already. But yeah, thank you, Aldi. That was yeah. a pleasure, yeah. uh, as you. always. Yeah. Absolute pleasure, Aldi. Yeah. Let's see what the Guinness is like. Yeah, let's go. Right, so the Guinnesses are having a bake-off today. A great 
Guinness Bake Off. Great Guinness Bake Off. Absolutely correct. I, I've never baked a pie ever in my life. Don't know about you, Sean. But... I've done one or two, to be honest, but they've not turned out that great. But I have got all my little Guinness bits, so that's going to make it extra special. Yeah, Sean's got his fancy bits. I, I, to be fair, my, my, my Guinness, um, what you call it? Pie Funnel. Pie Funnel. Yeah. Uh, that is... That is Guinness, and I've got my, my regular dish. How nice is that one, though? I feel like that, that's too high for your dish, Sean. Is it? That's, it's going it's to be poking out the top. Oh, it is, isn't it? That's going to look good, isn't it? We've got some leeks, a few carrots, onion, beef, bits of pieces. flour, beef stock, Guinness, obviously. That's going to go in the pie. We, um, we did try to bite the bottle Guinness, because I do think the bottle Guinness is nicer for a pie. However, shop didn't have it, so we're going to have to settle for the old draft can. We're going to have somebody taste testing at the end of this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's we're not we're on a time schedule here. It's not like Bake Off where it's like right, you've got thirty minutes because, because that doesn't yeah. work, does it? I don't know how to make a pie in the first place, so yeah. it's going to be a bit messy. Me versus Sean. Who can make the best pie? Let's get cracking. Get cracking. So. I'm going to put a bit of flour in my bowl. I was taking my Guinness ring off. Nice, isn't it? I've not got my apron on, Sean. I'm not ready for this. Oh, God, come on. Sean's already got his on. Guinness, obviously. Yeah. Um, I'm, I've, gone, I've gone for a G. Gone for Greg's. Uh, I don't know how you should do it now. I should go around the front. So I say I've never baked anything. I did used to work in Greg's, but that has, you know, that means nothing. Sean's, Sean's already got his in the flour. Just tossing it in a bit of flour, salt and pepper, and a secret little ingredient that I'm not telling Charlie. Come on, Charlie, catch up. If it was timed, I'd win this. How big do the pieces of beef need to be? It's up to you, mate, isn't it? It's what you like in your mouth. <laughs> oh. Little, I think I'll have a little knob of butter with me, me oil. While I'm waiting for the pan, I think I should uh, chop myself a few carrots. Sean is flying here, Jesus. Try not to chop any fingers off. Obviously, you can see that I'm not a chef. I've no idea how to cut things. It's not about that. It's about having a go in the kitchen. Oh yeah, that's sizzling away. Nothing in there yet, but never mind. I was told not to use too many carrots because it can taste a bit carroty. Right, that's, that's my meat done. Boom. Whoa, look at that, yeah. I'm just going to fry this off a little bit before I put it in an oven proof dish. And while that's cooking off there, I might get onto the onion. The veg isn't the best, but do you know what? Once it's all been stewed together, it'll be fine. Counting on the Guinness to make up for the poor veg. Excuses. Knob of butter. Oh, yeah, try and put it in the pan. I've missed the pan. <laughs> Don't worry, surfaces are clean. Is that enough butter? I'm not telling you. You carry on. No, you do it your way. I'm well, not... How much was it again? I can't remember. I don't, I don't want to... That's wanna... fine. I think it looks no, all right for me. I'll put a knob in. I don't know how much a knob is. Depends how big your knob is, really, but... <laughs> 25 grams. I might put a little more in. Knob going in. Knob putting it in. No, you don't need to oil it. He's buttered and oiled his knob. It's so unnecessary. Just seal the meat before we put it in for the long cook. You've got carrots to do yet, and onions, come on. What do you live on at home then, Charlie? Takeaways, is it? Guinness. Guinness yeah. and cheese. Guinness, cheese and bread. Official Guinness shopping board. A woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. Absolutely right. That's looking pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. I could stir that all day. <laughs> Charlie, way ahead of you, mate. Way ahead of you. Slow and steady wins the race, Sean. Oh, leeks. Leeks. Oh, I hate chopping things. Especially carrot. Oh, how's my meat doing? Forgot about my meat. Oh, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Oh, I thought I forgot about it then. So it was burning. Burn, baby, burn. I can't believe you burnt my meat. Oh, yes. Oh, bit of beef stock. Throw that in. Lovely. Charlie has just told me what's in the recipe, but not told me how to do it. So, there you go, I think that's enough. Guinness. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna fry this off for a little bit, then I'm gonna throw the meat back in. Look at the dome on that, Charlie. 
it's so creamy. Look at that. Oh, guys, I bet your mouth's watering now. Let that stew for a little bit. I think I've done mine. Would you like me to stir your meat, mate, to save it burning? Yeah. Oh, thanks, yeah. Not yeah, a sure. problem. Then we'll have a little tidy up before we put it all in the oven for about an hour or so, an hour and a half. Yeah, and then we need to make Get the pastry. Get it out and put the pastry on. Charlie has got to make his own pastry. What, you're not, you're not making pastry, Charlie? I've got a secret ingredient, mate. You don't have any pastry on this pie. I'm not spending a fortnight making pastry. Do you believe it or not, Charlie? It comes ready roll these days. So simple, so easy, and what so a, brilliant. What an amateur. There we go. Lovely steak. I'm going to put that back into my frying pan now so that it can absorb all those lovely juices and that lovely Guinness. So we'll re add the lovely beef that we fried off a little earlier. And just so it takes in all the flavours of the veg, the stock, and most importantly, the Guinness. Yeah. <sighs> Tell you what, my beef is looking splendid, Sean. Splendid! Charlie, you really need to spend more time in the kitchen and less time at the gym, okay? Or in the pub. Or the pub. Oh, fuck it. What was that from? <coughs> It does spit, Charlie. It gets oh, to a certain temperature geez. and you get little splashes. That's why I've got my lovely Guinness apron on. Oh, Jesus. Where's the leaks? Oh, here. <laughs> the leaks are those long things, yeah. Rinse oh, no, it. No, nope. Charlie. You rinse. It's there. Look. For God's sake, this is where all the muck gets in. Not up that end. Never chopped a leak in my life, I'll be honest with you now. Charlie, what's that? That. What is that? Did you do a whole leak? It's just a lot of leak. I did one and a half in mine. One and a half. I want to drink that can, but we need to use it for the food, don't we? I think that's coming on nicely. What I'm doing with mine is just what they call cooking it off a bit, you know, just to reduce the liquids a little bit because it's going to be a pie. So I don't want it to be too liquidy. So I'm just going to cook that slowly until it's a, a nice consistency and I think that's where the art of cooking comes in. You're right about whoever said about too many carrots. No, I'm not happy with that. Oh. Who put carrots in it? <laughs> Good dashing of salt and pepper, that will cure it. Oh, look at that. That consistency for me is there. Oh my God, look at that, guys. Shame about the carrots. I'm only gonna put half of my carrots. The onion, the carrots, the leek all in together. Meat going in. There we go. Meat's in. Just gonna add some ingredients, first of which has to be the stock. Slight issue. <laughs> I forgot to stir it. <laughs> so I've got a big block of stock. <laughs> oh, we'll just put it in, it's fine. Well done, Charlie. <laughs> I'll stir it while it's in pan, it's fine. I'll just give it a good <laughs> Melted already, it's fine. Don't worry about it, look, it's, 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 it's melting. I'm not worried about it. Right, mm. what's next? Right, time to put this gorgeous pie filling in the oven to cook all this beautiful beef until it's ready for the pastry topping. There we go. Proper bake off oven. Yes, loving it. So it is two teaspoons of Worcester sauce. Smells of puree, harder to measure. I mean, it's a bit thick. It's about a teaspoon, isn't it? That's getting a good stir now. And then of course, we cannot forget the most vital ingredient Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, well, that does look good, Charlie. And just tip it off with a dome. Lovely creamy head. Lovely creamy head. Look at the stick on that, the little cheek. Oh, that's what you want. And that is the Guinness pie. I don't think you put the love in it that I put into mine. <laughs> Have you done that yourself? a secret ingredient, Charlie? It's, the secret <laughs> ingredient is my love. <laughs> I'll just give you one little tip. Yeah. Taste it. 
And yep. if you're happy with it, great. If you're not, yep. season then as talk. we go. You should uh, have tasted mine, really. Then you'd have got an idea of what it should taste like. But there we go. Yeah. But uh, you know, so far I'm actually quite happy. But the thing is, that's the easy bit. I've got to make the pastry. Yeah. And I haven't. Yeah. So you know that, that could be the tip. That could be either a massive win for me if the pastry is great, or it could be a complete loss and it goes. I do totally. feel really bad now because I know you're under pressure to make the pastry, and I have cheated. And to be honest, if your pastry turns out anything like pastry, <laughs> then I might. Which even, will be I might a miracle. Fall. So that could be the tipping point. I could win it merely on the fact that I've actually made my own pastry. It has to resemble pastry. I doubt it. Probably. I've never made it in my life. I must have skipped that lesson when I was in food tech. So um... mine's resting already, ready to be rolled. I've got you yeah, a lovely rolling pin. Is it Guinness? It's not actually, but it's as old as Guinness. Chill for a little while and have another Guinness. I'm going to leave mine to simmer yeah. with a lid on it. Okay. For around two hours on a low heat. Ooh. So that could be the difference, folks. Ah, right. Okay. Ooh. We're back. The, the steak is cooking. It's sizzling away. I've got mine now. I may have popped it in the slow cooker. I've got to make my own pastry. I've never done it before. I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll give it a whirl. So we're going to start things off with a bit of flour. So we're going for 400 grams of flour. So just whack it in and let's hope for the best. I'll use, I'll use this salt because it's finer. Fine salt. You don't want clumpy salt. I don't know how much a pinch is. Is that a pinch? Then we want some butter. We want a little bit of butter on there. Um, ideally about 50 grams. There you go. I've one of them just to keep going. Can of Guinness from Sean. Sadly, that's as good as it gets from a can. Yeah. But, you know, babies can't be choosers. Just chuck that in there. Get rid of it. See you later. I'm going to add a little secret ingredient here. A bit of cheese. You want to break the cheese up, and that is just going to add so much lovely fatty flavour. You're making a pastry, Charlie, not a friggin' meal. Just get on with it. And are you using all that cheese? Seriously, how much did he tell you to use? He said, he said to use a knob. A knob. Well, I don't know how big you think yours is, mate, but it's not that big. Put the cheese away. There's nothing better than a big knob in your pie. I think you've got delusions or something because it's nowhere near that big. How much are you putting in there? You, you're going to end up with a pastry to cover this table. We, we don't need that much. That's what you need, Charlie. Ready rolled, ready to go. Lazy pecker. Yes. We'll I'm going to have to we're sit we're here now for two hours watching you do this. Yeah, you are. When I could be watching Coronation Street or something like that, couldn't I? Now it's time for the rubbing. Sorry? You don't want... The what? Charlie, I keep telling you, this is going out before the watershed. Get it, and you've got to get that butter all melted in, in the warmth of your hands. Get all that flour in. Mix it up, Charlie, like a dough. Yeah, go oh, on. You know what we need going. to do? What? Add some water. Add cold water. Right. That's what Jamie Oliver said. I think said. it's only a spoonful, though, or something daft like it, that. No, it's quite, it's quite a bit, actually. It's, no, 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 Charlie, don't. You don't want soup. You want, I would just go like that. Go on, work it out. It's hardly worth it, is it, really? Mix it. Oh, I've seen more moisture at a monastery. Oh, Jesus. Okay, all right, get some more water in there, you yeah. ready? Well, right, that, oh, now that's more like that, it. Did now that we're feel good now? <laughs> God. Oh, please. Tell you what, no, don't you worry, Sean. Don't you worry. I'm not worrying. I've won this Although my hands are covered in flour. Can you pass me a pint of Guinness, please? A pint of Guinness? Yeah, pass me the, pass me the pint. I'm getting thirsty here. It's thirsty work. Thirsty work. Go on, get a bit on your sash. Come on. Right, carry on. <sighs> Lovely, thanks, Sean. Yeah, I mean, I uh, don't really know what I'm doing, I'll be honest here. Well, I gathered that. Oh, lost a bit there. Put that back oh, in. Oh dear, put that back in. Not yeah. the table was clean. Chunk of cheese. <laughs> Going back in. Look at that now. Oh my God. <laughs> Bet this out your way before he smashes it. <laughs> what is that? What? It looks great, Sean. <sighs> Honestly, you're going to be so jealous. He's laughing now. He's laughing now because I'm doing this. But just you I'm, wait. I'm not laughing, Charlie. I, I'm feeling sorry for you. You see, you could have been drinking these instead of rolling that. Yeah? But no, you insisted. 
It is, it is quite dry. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Roll that in now, roll it in. Oh, I said tea might be at seven o'clock. I forgot about you making this. Make that eight o'clock. Looks okay. Just take that lid off. Oh, let's have a look at that. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I'm happy with that. Fill this one up first. This isn't how you do it normally. You'd have more room in the kitchen, but because Charlie's like been all over the place, I'm a bit short on space, folks. Trick is, a little bit of that round the edge. Get the old pastry on. Oh, yes. Oh, forgot the pie funnel. Never mind. Here we go. Stick that in. That is not how you're supposed to put the pie funnel in, by the way. That's just me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You put it in afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> he literally just shoved the fucking thing in the middle of the pot. Well, let's just see how it goes, shall we? Looks great. Look at that. Brilliant. Goes straight onto the pie in the middle. Oh, yeah. And what did you put? Did you line Nothing. it with any Nothing. butter? Nothing. Should I have done? Yes. Buttery biscuit base. Teamwork. Makes a dream. We'll get there, we'll get there. Brilliant. Cheers, Sean. All right, I don't really know what I'm doing here, I'm just filling right. the holes. Oh, yeah, don't get the funnel. Yeah, now fill her up with meat. You want to come to Frodsham for a meat pie? Best steak pie in Cheshire. On comes the pastry. Pastry. Going on to pie. We'll just fill that in, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, look at that, it's fine. Seriously, I've seen six year old kids do better than that. This is off to go in the oven. It doesn't look that great. I think the middle one looks okay. But anyway, you know, this is it. It's home baked, proper stuff. So we're going in the oven. Apart from the pastry. Shut up. I've got to go in the top because Charlie's insisting on in going in the bottom. No, I can't go in the top, Charlie. Because my funnel's too high, so I've got to go in the middle. Thanks. There we go. Charlie, this pastry needed needing a lot more. No. It did. No, it. Jamie Oliver said... No, I'm doing it now. He and said, if you need it better. too much, it goes oh, did shit. He? Yeah, he said, do you want to do it too oh, much? Oh, okay. I'm going to go for writing Guinness on the pie. Oh, yes. Here we go, Guinness. I'll just brush it with some egg. Lovely, homemade pastry. Voila. Pie going into oven. Looks brilliant. There it is. In she goes. In she blows. Yours looks a bit more well done, but I think mine's just nice. I'd say mine's golden awesome. brown. Love it. Love it. Fucking bottle sticker. <laughs> That's my little funnel, my little Guinness funnel. Yeah. Oh, so hello. We'll see if they actually work. I like that, Charlie. I think that looks really cool. Yeah, you wouldn't be opposed to it. No, no. I, I'd, I'd say that is definitely home baked. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not that good on the pastry, but let's have a go. But mine was homemade, whereas yours is cheated from the supermarket. So. Okay, okay, we'll see when we taste it, won't we? So we've got Saoirse to do a taste test for us, my yeah. little lovely daughter. Yeah. So let's see what she thinks, shall The pie connoisseur. Yeah. So, um, we've got our guest with us now to try the pie, Mary Berry herself. So there's two pies here. You can sample either of them. We know which ones they are, Saoirse doesn't know. Someone's been a bit more generous on yeah, this. That's yeah, that's a slightly more generous portion. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Can you remember whose is whose now? Yes, I, I know whose is You can remember. Uh, yeah, you can tell it's a mile off. You can see oh, which yeah. is the best pie I can remember straight now. away. Well, I'm chuffed that this is spelled right. Yeah. Because you're spelling, both of your spellings are not great, is it? No, it's not, is it? Just yeah. eat the pie. What's the beef like? What's that like? A bit chewy. It's nice, no, it's not that, it's not chewy to be mm. fair. Okay. I quite like this one. Oh, it's mm. nice, is it? Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Pastry Ooh. base, pastry base. Yeah, it's got one. the base on it and the top. No, so not, I just thought my pastry had gone. No, no, no it's, no, it's all round the pie. It's a full, it's a full, it's a proper pie. Not, don't know who's it is. What do you reckon? Yeah, no, yeah. Put it over there, look. Try the pepper one then. Don't want to eat much of that crumbly pastry that you got. No, from come on, Aldi. the beef, the taste. Come on. Um, I need to 
try a bit more of this one, I think. Of course you do, yeah, you want more it's, of that. It's yeah. still soft, the beef. To be oh, fair. yeah, yeah, good, yeah. You've had a pastry, nice. I don't know whether this is a bit like stronger. I'm not sure yeah, it probably is. I don't know what I prefer if it's Stronger in what way? More yeah, beefiness? Guinness. More Guinnessy. An extra Oxtro cube in there, maybe? Extra carrot, maybe? Nicer. Mm, more flavour. That's more bitter. Bitter? Bitter? <laughs> Sorry, bitter. What do you mean, bitter? No. Let me try this one again. Here you go, I'll have some water just I'll to make sure you, the palate's cleansed and we're not mixing flavours here. I'd be quite Would you? That all day. Which is the creamiest? only have a bit of it because it's quite... <laughs> well, I think that sums it up. So, Mary Berry, if you were to give them a score out of ten each... Seven. Try some. Try some. Seven. Eight. What? Mum's pie, ten. Yeah. I made that myself. The pastry. Oh, okay. With the Ooh, base. Give me a bit of your pastry then. I'll try just the pastry. Seriously, sush, that pastry's horrible. Well, I I'm kind of... This is lovely. Yeah, but that's just like... It's, it's crumbling. All right, should we just leave it there, folks? Okay. That's Charlie actually, seems to have come out... a bit burnt, actually, the bit I have. A little bit on top, as he normally does. Always gets the best friggin' pint. And now he's made the best pie. Well, I'm not sure, folks, and I think she's not respecting her father. Well, you didn't give me a lot, did you? To try. I didn't want to waste it, love. Yeah, Carry on with Charlie's pie. Yeah. And if you do end up on the toilet tomorrow because of his pastry, there you go. Well, you wouldn't on mine. But not. there you go. Charlie, I've got to give it to you, mate. Looks like you beat me. You know what he I think did me. it? I think it was the less carrots. Less carrots. The one less octo cube. Yeah. And the homemade pastry, Sean. Homemade pastry. Homemade pastry yeah. always wins. Always wins. Apparently, even though I didn't know what I was doing. There we go. We're going to eat this one because that's the best one. There we go. Guinness pie. Thank you very much. Well, thanks, Sash. <laughs> Do a, a, an expression like that. And tilt it a bit more, Charlie, so I can see the writing. That's it, and that's it, and then again. And then look at your pie, Sean. And then look at each other. And then look back at me. <laughs> <laughs>